People, make I take greet on a special, special. How will Ona they do? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, you know, based on time where Ona they follow see this video. How will Ona they do? Hmm. So my people, as it can't be right now, no, waiting with the hair, be say on it, don't storm um, a courier from church where Lori Naomi, they take do her service. That so in don't storm church and the whole service don't turn into a jubilation. Because the sight of the only in church caught everybody's attention. Today being 10th of December, Sunday like so, now only don't take storm or Naomi church for Akure. Hmm, my people. So right now we can't understand why him be one build a church for Olori Naomi by all means so that she go come back in Leife. So that she go in, go they come there from time to time. But based on the facts that things did not even play out that way, he has gone ahead to stomp Akure. This one no be smarting, no yes, no be smarting at all. Because right now waiting with a take here, be say as he enter the church like so everything just day on hold kbs just keep every single thing on hold for inside the church and that's how people they jubilate they, they dance they, they celebrate at the sight of the only of ife you go blame ma'am the man is a very joyous man the man is someone who accepts everyone around him the man is is in fact he's he's the best king we have ever known known since since the rain from his father downward we did not even hear his father do all of these things but you know kbs is kind of um, not an old man so permit him to play his love life yes because waiting him they do right now him they just they tell us say he really really loves Olori naomi and every single thing they have been through together he can't wait to have her back into the palace so maybe it is because naomi should not be leaving ife when she finally comes back home uh, to go to akure for ministrations or any single thing that was why he wanted to bring her church down to ife for her but naomi has not even accepted that despite the fact that esther ajayi told her to go ahead and accept it hmm, my people reverend funke once told her that there is no crime in her having a church in ife she can always visit the church in akure but maybe apparently not every sunday yes not every sunday but she can visit the church in akure from time to time just to make sure know how they are doing make sure they are okay and then you know with all of these things put together hmm my people, this one no be small thing at all. No be small thing at all. But as it stands right now, we don't see how the whole matter don't play out. KBSC proving every single day that Olori Naomi is the one he wants and he badly wants her back into the palace. No matter what it is, no matter what it is right now, we will not judge him by the past. Let's try and hold him responsible for whatsoever will come afterward because he has proven over time he has proven to us that the, this is what he badly wants for himself. Yes, because look at when Olori Naomi left the palace in December 2020. We see how much effort this man has put into making sure that she returns back into the palace. And from that, you could tell how much he cares and he loves her. You see, when this whole divorce thing popped up, all of them were... Where you know um, under one circumstance or the other they were dragging each other they will just clearly understand that kbsc did not even make any sort of moves that would warrant something that goes against um him bringing her back into the palace every single thing he did part time at each single moment was to make sure that she comes back into the palace as his wife so right now no my people are so the whole matter can't take big kbs stormed the church in akure and he actually kept the church on hold it became a big time celebration as he was in attendance at the service that held in if in akure so my people right now hmm they can't remain say make sure return back into the palace so because the people they call all of these things where they happen fallacy say why the whole palace they turn into a big puzzle of drama they don't really really understand because the KBAC himself seems like someone who is actually enjoying this drama currently ongoing in the palace and they detest it. Yes, everybody's saying they detest it. They don't like it. They don't like what's happening in the palace. Well, it is not in our place to like it. Whatsoever they choose to make up the palace, that is what we will see. And right now, KBAC said there is nothing he cherished more than having his son back home with him. Yes, see, when he visited Akure and 
and Tedenikawa could not even recognize him as a father. He, he, he cried. He felt bad. Yes, it is what every father will feel bad. It is worth feeling bad for. Because for your child not to recognize you as a father, it is the worst thing that could ever happen. And you know, when he felt it, he felt bad. Those are one of the things that pushed him. They triggered him to making sure that what he returns with this two back into the palace. But right now, no, every single thing contributing to this thing happening around it, we see how bad it is beginning to be from Miriam to Ronkhead, to Toby Phillips, to Mitokwe, every single thing put together, we could see how bad they are resulting now, they are playing now, they are coming out. But at the end of the day, we will not blame KBSC for any single thing happening because what is happened is bound to happen. So let's talk about... Uh, Naomi's return into the palace. They have fixed a date that Naomi returned back into the palace. The little for youth have even come out to even tell Kabir so that that date better be the date. Because if that date happens not to be the date that Naomi would return back into the palace, they would not find it likely with him. Yes, they would not like it. Apparently, there is nothing they can do to him. There is nothing they can do to the only of Ife. There is nothing they can do to the Kabiesi or Gunwesi, the custodian of the Yoruba culture. But at the end of the day, he should know that what is losing trust gradually in people. Because this Olori Naomi matter, first people don't like the way Oni's father has handled it in the past time. They don't like it. That's first. Secondly, they don't cherish the fact that it has not really, really played out in good terms. They felt it should have ended long before now. But the matter keeps escalating on daily basis. It keeps growing. It keeps becoming big. It keeps becoming what they cannot even lay their hands on. And for a fact, they don't like it. So right now, they can't remain waiting be an unsold decision at the end of the day with all of these things. Will that date fix that Naomi will return back into the palace be the actual day that she will come back? Or there are other things attached to it that will still delay her return into the palace. So right now, no, now waiting will take care be that, my people. He has um, stormed the church, and the church is in deep celebration at his sight. You know, this is this is this is the only, and everybody is happy seeing him. Yes, yeah, so we would not blame them for that because they are all happy that they are seeing their king. Yes, they are all happy, and they are happy with the fact that what he shows, he proves to them every single day that he loves. Olori, Naomi, and the love is real, the love is legit, and the Naomi is coming back into the palace. My people, now so the matter take bio, now so it take play out. But right now, we can't the way to let the 20th of December remain 20th of December because this love where they, they do koni koni, it no profit us in any way at all. It has not profited us in any way. Now to for us make we see say every single thing where they don't they tell us every single thing where we don't they hear it has come to actualization that is what we want to see right now that Naomi returns back into the palace so my people know on the 10th of December being today uh, Kabi assist stormed the church in attendance of following Naomi's service in Akure and it has turned into a news headline as everybody is happy saying this are relationship goals they need to learn from.